for this project where we're collecting bees that are exiting the hive and seeing if they are carrying tropolelaps mites out of the hive with them, uh, we're using these special uh, entrance traps, funnel traps. So the idea here is that um, most of the bees that are leaving on foraging trips will actually leave out through this funnel. But then, as you, you can see, some bees leaving. But when they come back, they mostly come back through this entrance. By putting a collection cup over here and leaving that installed for 10 minutes, we're catching uh, departing foragers. Now that 10 minutes has passed, we're going to collect these bees into alcohol so that we can assess whether they have uh, mites on them. Okay, Dan, so you brought back the bees uh, from, the, from the apiary. What's the next steps for, for getting mites off of those, or potential mites off your exiting workers? That's right, so we've got some exiting worker bees uh, and uh, coming out of those funnel traps. And to check whether there are tropolilapse mites or varroa mites in these samples, we're going to be doing a triple rinse alcohol wash. Uh, I shook this sample for a minute already, so now it's just a matter of doing three washes to see what mites are on these bees. Okay. And, and some beekeepers back home would be hopefully familiar with the, the alcohol wash and triple rinse yeah. uh, method and here. Here in the first wash, I don't see any mites of either species. Okay. So I'm just going to do a second rinse. And you're normally finding the mites off of that first rinse, um, or are you? Is it pretty common to see mites coming off the second or third? Uh, for um, of the six tropolelaps mites we've seen on the exiting bees so far, I'm mostly seeing them in the first wash. Okay. Um, so this small sample of exiting bees, even on the first rinse, we I did find two tropolelaps mites. So, and also two varroa mites. They're pretty hard to see, but here are the two varroa mites. And about a third of the size here, and in a, another spot, um, we have the two tropolelaps mites. I'm going to collect those into a vial so we can look at them under the microscope and uh, just uh, confirm what they are, uh, specifically whether they're male or female. Because uh, a male mite leaving the hive might not have such big implications, but a female mite leaving the hive could establish an infestation in a new colony. Tropolelaps mites have a midline plate, which is pretty distinctive. And from looking at these plates, we can tell that both the mites from this colony are female. We're finding tropolelaps mites exiting colonies by hitching rides on bees. And a lot of these mites are female. And this means that a single female mite, which is usually already mated and ready to lay eggs, could hitch a ride on a bee and get to a new colony or even a colony from a different operation. And just that mite is enough to start an infestation. Given that tropolelaps mites are spreading in areas of Asia and Europe, this research helps us understand one way that the mites can spread, but we're also doing other research to develop a toolkit of management that we can use if the mite becomes established in new regions.